to the First Minister asking for urgent talks. A day of celebration for some, deep concern for others. Carol Erskine, BBC News. So let's just go over these levels again, because it is a bit complicated now, isn't it? It is. It's as you were if you live in the city of Glasgow. Level three restrictions apply here and in Murray. Everyone else across the mainland and on Sky, though, is now in level two. And these level two areas are in blue or turquoise, if you prefer, on the <laughs> map here. That means up to six people from as many as three households can meet indoors, either in a home or in a public place. And outside, up to eight adults from eight households can meet. Yes, pubs, bars and restaurants can serve alcohol inside and adults can play contact sports outside. Cinemas, arcades, casinos and other indoor leisure can reopen too. Groups can put on performances outside once more. We'll have more on that later. And religious services can allow group singing again. What else? Well, spectators can attend events. Up to 100 are allowed indoors and up to 500 outdoors. Yeah, and it gets even better if you're on most of the islands. Level 1 restrictions apply there. That's the green on the map. And attendances at those outdoor events can double. It also means larger gatherings are allowed up to 8 indoors and up to 12 outdoors. Yes, and there on the Northern Isles, the Western Isles uh, and so on, pubs can stay open a bit later and you don't have to leave after two hours. The maximum attendance at funerals and weddings there doubles. That goes up to 100. And this may be a lifeline if you're a parent. Soft play is back open again. Yeah, they'll be welcoming that for sure. Well, the Nines India Grant has been finding out more. Lockdown has been a solitary experience for many of us. But after months apart, people in most of Scotland are finally coming together for a hug with family or a kickabout with friends, like here in Aberdeen. Well, this week, we've, uh, because the, the contact football is allowed, we're relaunching our leagues. So that's uh, over 500 players coming to play this week that weren't playing previously. Getting back into proper football today is brilliant. And it, you know, it, it really motivates them to get along, especially Monday morning, you know, blow off the, the, the cobwebs of the weekend and get a, get a kick about. It makes me happy that we can actually like, go outside and enjoy, our, enjoy ourselves and stuff like that instead of being trapped in our homes, doing like nothing, becoming lazy and stuff, unmotivated to do anything. This is just a good joint fun. And it's not just outdoor sport. Group exercise classes can take place inside gyms for the first time in months. It's a beautiful day here in Aberdeen. So we've come to Duthie Park to ask people how they feel about society opening up and restrictions easing. But it's great now to be able to see family a bit more, a bit more of an open thing, you know, people can come and visit now and stuff like that, rather than having a meeting. Well, me and my friend are here today for a little walk in the park and stuff. Um, it's great, we're so delighted she's able to see more people because she's been quite isolated, obviously. It's good to get out about and just to know that you can actually do something now and instead of being locked up and trapped in the house. Um, I'm a hairdresser, so it's a bit of a joke saying that I'll be able to hug my clients now, but I don't know how I'm going to feel about people being in my space. Al fresco dining in Scotland isn't always cosy, but now bars and restaurants in most of the country can serve alcohol indoors until 10. Punters at this bar in Dundee were relieved. It's, it's, it's a very nice feeling. It's good to be out and about, um, getting an atmosphere of, of the pub. Uh, certainly when Scottish weather, it's good to be indoors as well, since we're not having the best summer. But yeah, it's good, it's good, it's relaxed. Meanwhile, cinemas, theatres and other indoor entertainment venues are allowed to reopen, with restrictions in place. It's been great having people in the building, we've been in preparing for weeks and having customers come in finally. It's been so good, after last year we were open and closed, open and closed and finally having people in watching films, it's great. Yeah, I've really missed the cinema. It's um, always something I've come to, and this wee cinema's super. You raise me up, so I can stand on up to 30 people can meet outdoors to sing in choirs, like here on Edinburgh's Carlton Hill. Singing to some people is fundamental. It really is the thing that drives them. And so uh, it's been extraordinary to miss that quite so much. Um, won't ever take it for granted again. And while the majority of the mainland is now at level two, most of Scotland's island communities are enjoying life at level one. 
That means even more people can meet up for events like weddings. Here in Orkney, they're happy to get closer to normality. Even though it's not going to be the same as what we're used to, we're still going to make the best we can and bring the community together. But with rising infection rates in parts of mainland Scotland, it could be a while until the whole of the country is able to celebrate together. India Grant, BBC News.